वेलकम टू आवर चैनल मैथामेटिक्स पाठशाला दिस इज अ सी एस आई यू जी सी नेट जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री मैथामेटिकल सैंस कोश्चन एंड दिस इज द कोश्चन अफ फांगशनल एनालिसिस लेट एस नाउ ट्राई टू सल्व दिस प्रब्लेम हुई अफ द फलोईंग स्टेटमेंट्स आर ट्रु वेन यू इज एनी आर्बिट्री नॉम लिनियर स्पेस सी द फोर अपशन फार्स्ट आई एम नाउ रिपीटिंग द अपशन नम्बर वन सेज दैट Every bounded linear functional from U to R is continuous. Number two says that U is isomorphic to its double dual U double star. Number three, for every x belongs to U, we have norm x equal to supremum norm f less than equal to one mod f x, where f denotes elements of U star. And number four, the closed unit ball in U is compact. See here. If U is any non-linear space, we know that any linear operator from uh, say U and V are any two non-linear spaces. We know that any linear operator T from U to V is bounded is bounded if and only if it is continuous. This is a well-known result in. any functional analysis book say krezik there is a standard book of krezik functional analysis so any linear operator t is bounded if and only if it is continuous and if we consider this v as the scalar field itself as a scalar field itself so we can consider this scalar field is a non linear space over itself so then such linear operators from u to f are said to be linear functional so linear functionals are also linear operator uh, when you consider linear functional then the codomain space this scalar field is considered as a vector space as a non linear space over itself that is of dimension 1 so any linear functional is of the form like this u to f where f is if is the scalar field of u that is uh, u is the vector space over f uh, here our scalar field is r so uh, the result is any linear operator is bounded if and only if it is continuous so this is same for linear functional also so any linear functional on any non linear space is bounded if and only if it is continuous so the option one says that every bounded linear functional from u to r is continuous so since it is bounded it is continuous so option 1 is correct then c u is isomorphic to its double dual u double star actually we know there is a canonical map uh, say j from u to u double star uh, it is defined in this way that jx equal to say psi x then psi x is an element of u double star u double star means u double star means the collection of all linear functionals on u star so psi x is a map psi x is a map from u star to the scalar field say r here so psi x is defined by psi x f equal to fx so this j is defined in this way and this j is called canonical map or natural mapping or Uh, natural embedding uh, and we know that this j is isometric and one one isometry and one one but in general in general this j is not on two if u is finite dimensional then this j becomes on two and they then we can say that u is isomorphic to its double dual u double star but when u is not finite dimensional then this j may not be on two for an example if we consider u equal to c0 the sequence space which converts to zero then we know that then u star will be equal to l1 space also sequ sequence space such that uh, sum of modulus is finite and also then u double star that means l1 star is equal to l infinity so see here u equal to c0 and u double star equal to l infinity and they are not isometric 
so in general u is not isomorphic to its double dual u double star so option 2 is not correct then consider option 3 uh, for every x belongs to u we have norm x equal to this we know that if t is a linear operator from a nonlinear space u to a nonlinear space v then we know that this norm t is expressed as sub norm x less than equal to 1 or we can say norm x equal to 1 sub norm tx norm t is defined in this way so when this is linear functional f from say u to r then this norm f becomes by the above result sub norm x less than equal to 1 mod fx because f is from u to r so we can say in codomain norm will be replaced by mod mod fx now consider the canonical map j from u to u double star and then if we take any x belongs to u then our jx is defined by psi x where this psi x is defined by psi x f equal to fx we have written here so now uh, consider this psi x this psi x is also a linear functional on u star that means uh, that means uh, linear operator from u star to r so similar way as a defined uh, norm f equal to this in this way so here this psi x norm of psi x is defined norm psi x equal to so here uh, norm f less than equal to 1 psi x f mod by the definition of this by the definition of norm f like this so see also this j is isometric so since j is isometric we have norm j x equal to norm x and j x means psi x j is defined in this way so norm psi x equal to norm x so put this uh, norm x in the place of psi norm psi x we get norm x equal to sup norm f less than equal to 1 and also our psi x f is defined by fx see here psi x f equal to fx so put this fx here so what we get norm x equal to supremum of mod fx where norm f varies in this way norm f less than equal to 1 so this is our option 3 so option 3 is correct and next look at the option 4 the closed unit ball in u is compact there is a uh, well known result in functional analysis that a nonlinear space u is finite dimensional is finite dimensional if and only if its closed unit ball say bu is compact this is a well known result in functional analysis so see here the closed unit ball in u is compact so in general it is not true if this is this will be true then u must be finite dimensional so if we take any infinite dimensional nonlinear space u then the closed unit ball will not be compact so option 4 is not correct answer so option 1 and option 3 will be correct option option and option 2 and 4 will not be the correct option 